In this video, we will install Softaculous on a cPanel server. Softaculous is a paid add-on for cPanel server. Softaculous make it easy to install various web applications with a one-click installer. It supports 300 plus scripts. When a new version of the software is made available, Softaculous can update the software to the latest version. To install Softaculous, we need to run these three commands. Go to WHM. Search for terminal. Click on I understand. We are logged in as user root. Now copy the first command. Paste it here. We have install.sh downloaded. Next change permission for this file to 755. chmod 755 install.sh. After that you can execute the install.sh install.sh the install failed with error ironcube loader not loaded to fix this you need to enable ironcube this can be done at whm teak settings just below terminal you can see the teak setting open it in a new tab search for ironcube here under cpanel php loader you have two options, Iron Cube, Source Guardian. Click on the Iron Cube and save. Now let's run the command again. Softaculous is installing now. If you look under plugins, there is only one item, WordPress Toolkit. After installing Softaculous, you have one more item here. We have Softaculous under the plugins now. Click on Softaculous. Let's see if the install finished. Here we have completed the installation. Let us go to the Softaculous page. The license type is already updated to premium. Next we need to enable Softaculous for cPanel usage. For that go to WHM. Search for Feature Manager. Edit the default feature list. Click on Edit. You need to find Softaculous here. Softaculous app installer is already enabled so you don't need to do anything. If it is not enabled, you need to click on the checkbox and then click on save button. Now, if you go to a cPanel, you will be able to install software using Softaculous. Search for soft, Softaculous app installer. You have option to install various software like WordPress, Joomla, PHP, WHMCS, etc. To install a software, click on the install button under the software name. On the next page, you have to fill the form and click to install. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.